What's going on? What's going on? First off, I want to give a shout out to Eddie Hearn, man. He uh, emceed the um, Dillian White versus uh, Lucas Brown press conference. He did a great job, man. He did a pretty good job, man. Um, no, great job, excuse me. So, um, anyway, man, this dude, Dillian White, man, he's, you know, <laughs> UK heavyweight Dillian White, you know, I'm rooting for him, man, it's good, man, he's getting a good matchup versus Luka Brown, man, you know, I'm happy for him, or whatnot, but he's gotta stop, man, he's gotta stop, man, this dude's, a, a bit of a clown, man, I mean, Look at this get up, man. He's got the <laughs> he's got the baseball cap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The green baseball cap with the green leather jacket <laughs> and the uh, the gloves, man. Somebody's gotta let him know, man. You know that black the Black Panther movement it, it's over with, man. It's over with, man. You know what I'm saying? The Black Panther movement is it's it's over. And then I mean look. look Look, look what he's got here, man. Like, like, what is this, man? You know what I'm saying? He got some, like, anal bees and shit across his neck and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, what, he's like a Buddhist monk or something? You know, look at him, man. You know, he's looking silly. And then uh, <laughs> this dude's funny, man. He's going to call Lucas Brown uh, a racist, right? He can call this man a racist. Lucas Brown. And um, because of some picture, you know, he was referring to um, Dillian White as looking like some, uh, what was that, an orangutan? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said the man looked like, was, he's like, I just posted a picture. He's like, man, you're racist, yada, yada. And so, you know, Lucas Brown, like, kind of, like, explained himself, man. You know, this dude right here, he said, man, my kid's half Filipino. You know, I got three kids, they... They have Filipino and all this other stuff. I'm not racist, um, you know. Um, hell, in, in my school, hell, I was like one of the only white dudes, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, it was like, nah, that's, that's not that's not my background, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I didn't even really grow up around that many white people. And then, and then Dillian was like, oh, that's some BS. Uh, I can be racist. And he, you know, he... He he probably got a point, man, because if you listen to him on those I Film London uh, tapes, man, on those Coogan Cassius tapes, I don't know what's with Dillian and Coogan Cassius. I don't know if that's, you know, Coogan and Dillian got a thing going on. It's like the, that's his dude's boyfriend or something like that. I'm only saying because these interviews are long, and there's quite a few, man. Go to I, I Film TV, or I, I film London, man. Let's go. Just go to the YouTube, you know, page. Check it out. Then those interviews along, you know, of Coogan talking to Dillian White while Dillian White is on his couch playing video games and stuff like that. I mean, they they just Dillian White ain't got nothing that interesting to say, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he could tell because in these press conferences, man, um, he he always want to go out to the streets, this dude. You know what I'm saying? He always want to go out to the streets. Like, his banter is very elementary. And you can see Eddie, he's, like, very entertained. He's like, man, this dude is so simple. And you see this dude right here, um, Lucas Brown, uh, it's it's quite uh, uh, how would you say um, shoot, how would I say, man? More, he's more um uh, diplomatic in his verbiage. You know what I'm saying? More, more. I I say he's more of a gentleman, man. This dude right here, this this is a, a scary dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. You gotta think about it, man. This dude doesn't talk crap, but yet he's willing to lay hands on you. That's that's something scary, you know. Um, and I started thinking about that, man. I was like, man, this really is a nice guy, cause you know, cause I, 
you, if you ever watched those like gangster films or those documentaries, you know, like Nicky Barnes, uh, Cocaine Cowboys, and stuff like that, you know, these guys start telling their stories and stuff like that. You, they, they, they very, you know, compelling, you know, people and stuff. You start like sympathizing with them and stuff like that. They tell like very good stories and stuff like that. They great orators, man. You know, they very, um, how would you say, um. Uh, people oriented, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you want to call them sociopaths or something. I want to say, you know, because, you know, some of these guys, they probably got a few bodies somewhere, you know what I'm saying? They probably dropped a few people, you know? So, in saying that, man, I was thinking, I was like, man, Lucas, man, he must have, like, a criminal record or something, you know? This dude... So I did some like research on stuff like that, and, and I couldn't find nothing. But this guy was a bouncer for like a long time at a prominent nightclub in uh, I think Australia, or whatever. And you know, in some of these places, man, these nightclubs, man, they be hiring some of these uh, bouncers and stuff to do stuff, especially especially in, like UK. Looks like he got some kind of herpes or something like that right on the lip. I don't know what the hell that is. That's a cold sore or something. I don't know, but uh, anyway, I started, uh, you know, looking up his background and stuff like that, um, yeah, man, thank, uh, was it Daniel Cormier, what was that, what was that, uh, the UFC, what was that, light heavyweight, a heavyweight champion, thank, thank him, let's just give him a shout out, because he, whipped Lucas Brown. Or else Lucas Brown probably still be doing like mixed martial arts. You've probably been seeing him, you know, fighting um uh what's his name? Jones. You probably would have seen him fighting Jones by now, or something like that. But uh yeah, Cormay put it on him and he was like, I'm sticking to boxing, you know what I'm saying? This guy was doing a little bit of everything. But um yeah, man, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, Lucas probably did some, like, criminal stuff. I mean, he got he got the PED thing going on. He's got, like, these tattoos like he's crying or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You saw that movie. What was that? What was that? South Central? When they got, like, the tear drops when they drop somebody or something like that. I don't know how true that is. It's the movies and whatnot. I never seen that before in my life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't see people doing that in my neck of woods, you know. But that don't make it ain't true, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't know what the hell it is. This I don't this don't look like no birthmark. You know, what does this what does this mean, man? Why you got it up under your eyes and stuff like that? So anyway, man, um yeah, man, yeah, no, I so with with that being said, man. As far as the maturity and everything going on, I I, 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 I got the feeling that um, Lucas Brown is going to pull it off, man. I, I have a feeling he's going to pull it off and uh, upset Dillian. This is Dillian's coming out party. Dillian needs this fight, man. This is a solid opponent, man. He got, he got, he, you know, he took care of Robert Hellenius. You know what I'm saying? This is another um, top contender, man. Lucas Brown is a top contender. And if uh, Dillian can take care of Lucas Brown, I don't know, man. It looks like he's ranked number one in the WBC. I, don't, I mean, does he do a title eliminator, uh, a title eliminator with, with uh, Dominic Brazil? Or does he deserve uh, Deontay Wilder if du Wilder gets bad past uh, Luis Ortiz? All right, man. Y'all let me know, man. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.